For decades, people have been fighting for equality, following in the footsteps of Martin Luther King Jr. Longtime activist Betty Mae Fikes made a stop at Penn State Scranton today. WBRE WIOU Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler shares her visit. Fighting for this thing you call freedom. Betty Mae Fikes travels the country, continuing to fight for civil and human rights. Her journey of activism started with Martin Luther King Jr. at the age of 15. Trying to start a movement. She marched with King on many occasions. Her stories are real, so is her emotion. Betty embraces colleges like Penn State Scranton, who offer a MLK program. I come telling them about the foundation that we laid 60 years ago for them to build off today. Betty shares her experience as a black teenager in public. Where they would take cigarettes and you sit there nonviolently. Her stories, along with the stories of many other civil rights activists, are being shared with students in person and more than 100 online. It was the students in the 60s and it's going to take the students today. This is something that we learn about, but to actually be able to listen to a witness of that, a member of that freedom movement, it is, it's very humbling. Jonathan Price is the vice president for the college's Black Student Union. Their group has grown to more than two dozen. Their mission is to take what they learn and make an impact in the community while keeping Martin Luther King Jr.'s vision alive. There was none of the, uh, there was none of the riots, there were none of the, um, he wasn't a proponent of, you know, any violence or anything like that, and I think we need that today. In Scranton, Cody Butler, 2822 Eyewitness News. Eyewitness to history yeah. right there. Amazing woman. Now, Betty Mae Fikes lives in Los Angeles, but she's from Selma, Alabama. And she is known as the voice of Selma.